My name's Ellie Greenwood and I'm Head of Art at Eastbourne College. I got into teaching after studying at Manchester School of Art and then it was a year's residency at a school that made me think actually I'd really like to be an art teacher. So I did my PGCE in Manchester and then I moved to London and uh, worked in the state sector for five years before moving to Eastbourne to live by the sea. We're really lucky to have excellent facilities at Eastbourne College for the creative arts. In the art school we have two courses which run art and design and photography. We have specialist ceramics facilities. There are three other teachers in the art department and two technicians who are both ceramics specialists. We often work collaboratively together across art and design, textiles and photography, particularly on things like Gold Arts Award and recently the Royal Opera House Challenge. So people often ask me, do you need to be good at drawing to be able to do art? And there's a huge misconception around what good drawing actually is. Drawing is a means of communication, so anybody can make a mark, anybody can express themselves, communicate a design idea. There are so many different media and materials you can use to create a drawing, and so art and design really is open to anybody who has an interest in taking it. So art as a subject can be a really useful tool for pupils going into any career pathway. We have one pupil who's going to study engineering at the end of this year and in the past there's also a pupil who went on to study medicine and then came back and actually said that they use drawing all the time to study the anatomy of the body. So it's really, really important as a tool but you don't have to necessarily be good at drawing. I couldn't possibly pick just one art movement or artist because I love so many different kinds of work and it purely depends on what I'm doing or what I'm doing with the pupils as to who I look at but I do particularly enjoy artists who transcend the different disciplines so for example Annie Albers who was one of the Bauhaus School of Art students was a textile designer and printmaker and I absolutely love her process and equally I often love artists um, sketchbooks and drawings I like to look at the work behind the work so particularly love Anthony Gormley's drawings for example.